the beauty of anything that's public that kind of constitutes a public space is that it allows you to be a co-owner of it you feel a sense of relationship and thereby you feel a sense of pride with the wall or with the building a uh, wall is a mirror because when i paint i see myself when i step away people see themselves it shows you your true face the group of pks who were not associated with the painting were walking by the wall and they stopped and they looked up there were two of them and because one of the women in the in the mural was wearing a like her green jacket she immediately recognized she's like wow this is us this is me you know on utility building so that moment of recognition was sort of something that was very profound for us and i think it's a very uh, metaphorical thing for artists to uh, look at walls as surfaces to paint on because uh, they like to use the wall as the canvas to break through the idea of the boundary and the, the whole idea is to make public space more accessible for the public and especially for communities who are miss or underrepresented i mean basically visibility is power right I am painting in public spaces I'm responding to life you know I'm responding to public life so the future of the artwork I think is based on my reading of public life in that space in Bangalore we were working with both formal and informal waste workers and we were looking at this idea of essential and what is essential to them i guess we were out there for about 10 days like outside the uh, civil courts just in front of like these massive bbmp offices and it was like a party for 10 days you know they really felt like every day we'd have the uh, women coming and painting and they really sort of by the end of the uh, project owned that space this larger than life portrayal of women and it has like very raw elements of humans of women particularly um and it's got a lot of like art integrated with like reality some such mix of it before the image comes the desire for the image what triggers what happens and the last part of it is the desire to create a specific atmosphere the desire is not so much about oh i want to paint this there i want to paint that i think for me it's tuning more towards what could this place be and what can i do to make it become such like when you look go walk out on the streets what are the posters and images you see the most there are the gods actors politicians so why can't it be images of of everyday people and the more you see people the more space they occupy the more powerful they become so that is the idea is to like paint these really large monuments to people and communities who are underrepresented it is to record the history of this conservancy lane the past present and the future of uh, casteism so this is the past of the casteism where there was it was completely back back side welcome you know you are not allowed I, you don't deserve my face here it's like you are okay you look nice but let me you know let, think about it and the future i am hoping is a completely open and happy society where nobody is judged based on their birth an artist job is always poke people to provoke people you can either get some action out of them or they can just get poked and leave it and go right you know so there's always some uncle some aunty who'll come up and say oh but why are you painting a girl why is she sitting on a bike you should just make her a little bit more fair and the whole point for us is to always like engage it's not to like shut these questions down but to engage in them and and to start conversations off it's like a story in visuals you know the city is written in the form of visual so it's a story that's kind of being told to you and it's just an invitation to say hey stop whatever you're doing look around you can build a relationship with your street with your city and be part of it